The video arcade in the late 80s and early 90s was a mecca for those who longed to spend their hard-earned quarters on challenging and fun games that left them with sweat-stained shirts and happy faces. Arcade goers from that time will remember Afterburner, the game with a sit-down cabinet that moved as you tilted the flight stick up, down, and side to side, and might have been cause for an upset stomach or two. It's a shame that its console counterpart did not tantalize audiences as much as it did in arcades, because when you only have a TV screen and a controller, it'll be a rude awakening when you find out that Afterburner 2 is actually rather mediocre for the Sega Genesis, or PC, or Atari ST, or Amstrad CPC, or Commodore 64. Yes, controlling the F-14 Tomcat jet fighter can get kind of old after a while, when you aren't being thrown around like a rag doll in the sit-down cabinet of arcade fame, but to call Afterburner 2 a total failure would be unfair. Fighting for a high score through hordes of enemy attack fighters is as sweat-inducing as it was at the mall, as you need a hefty combination of dodge and shoot skills to punch through each stage. And basically, the longer you last, the higher your score. You have a slow down and throttle button, along with your missile launcher. Unfortunately, it appears that your machine gun button is stuck from all the coke you spilled on your dashboard from that last mission, so it's up to you to do your best to get used to its rhythm. Afterburner 2 is unabashedly similar to its predecessor, save for a few small differences. The aforementioned throttle function, the addition of more missiles to your fighter's arsenal, three additional stages, and the ability of enemy jet fighters to trail behind you, although your machine gun fire can, surprisingly, take care of them. You're rewarded for completion of a stage by a supply plane that appears overhead to refuel and reload, and then the level changes color. Whoopee. Enemies become increasingly more difficult to dodge and destroy, and it wasn't long before I was losing lives over and over again. Afterburner 2 is almost too simple in its design, but then again it was released when I was only a year old, so I'll give it credit for being an arcade classic that would give you that feeling that you just got off a small rowboat after being caught in a hurricane in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. 